afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Washington Nationals and the St. Louis Cardinals. Now at the plate, Trey Turner, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. First pitch coming from Wainwright. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. One and one count to the Nationals leadoff batter. Wainwright ready, the one one. Two ball, one strike. Two balls and two strikes now. Our game time temperature here to start play a balmy 86 degrees at first pitch. Again another foul ball. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. Into the box Adam Eaton. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now the pitch. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. On his way to second is Eaton. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. That is third. The third baseman. So here's Starlin Castro. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for bowl one. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. Here now is Juan Soto. The left fielder, number 22. Juan Soto. First delivery to him on the way. Count one and oh. One and oh, here it is. Looked like that one tied him up a bit, a swing and a miss. Eaton on third with two out. And a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. One out away from stranding that runner on third. So the last thing you want to do is throw a wild pitch and let him score. Nice job there by the catcher to knock that one down. And he fouls this one off. He's set the 2-2. He's up in the zone a lot right now. Sometimes that can be effective, but I think you have to be careful with that, especially during a day game where the ball tends to carry a lot more. And a sinker there swung on and missed for out number three. Stepping in, Tommy Edmond. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. The second baseman. Tommy. Pitch on the way. And that's waved at and missed for strike one. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. When a hitter is showing he's unable to resist those inside pitches, you just might as well keep going in there and hope he keeps chasing. Those weren't strikes, but he wanted to hit them anyway. And the throw will indeed take care of him for the first out. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Tyler O'Neill. First pitch on its way. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. One out, nobody on. Good pitch there down below the zone, got him to go after it. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. 
as a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. So he froze him for the strikeout. Tyler O'Neill becomes out number two this inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. 4-1. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit the other way out toward right field. After it is eaten, he gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Howie Kendrick. He'll get us started in the he top of the, the second. Back. The second baseman, Howie Kendrick. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. On the ground to third. Throw in the dirt to first, and he can't come up with it cleanly. That is it. The designated hitter, Eric Dane. In now, Eric Thames, as Wainwright's able to jump ahead of him here with strike one. Nobody out, runner on first. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. Donnie couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane of the plate, and that'll be ruled a strike. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reyes is right there. One down. Now with the play, Kurt Suzuki. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. From the stretch. Here comes the 0 1 down the left field line and deep and this will wind up a foul ball. No score here as we play inning number two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair it's gone and that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead it's a foul ball. Another 0 2 now from Wainwright. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike three called, and there are two down. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. The first baseman, Drupal Cabrera. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Reyes is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. half of the second set to go and coming forward now is the shortstop Paul DeYoung here comes the first pitch oh missed that one by a mile it's 0 and 1 DeYoung in an 0 and 2 hole here the wind up and the 0 2 pitch and he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout and there's one gone. So the bases are empty with one man gone and that'll bring up the sweet swinging Matt Carpenter. Started to go around there but he holds up ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. And now a fastball for a called strike it's one and one. Two balls and a strike to Matt Carpenter. To two and two now. Two two pitches fouled away.
Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Batting pick. The next to bat for St. Louis, C.J. Crone. First two men in the oh. inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Sanchez uses a split finger fastball as one of his weapons of choice in the arsenal. He can really be very deceptive when that pitch is working. And I'd imagine as a hitter, it's always in the back of your mind. The one two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Robles waits on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Stepping in, Victor Robles, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Number 16, Victor Robles. The pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. DeYoung gathers it in. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. The speedy Trey Turner digs in now. 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. Reyes is there now and he has it two gone trying to pick things up where we left off Adam Eaton he'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here yeah he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat but I got to think they're going to pitch him up maybe elevate something in the zone interested to see how he approaches this next AB the 1-0 Third inning, no score to this point. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. The one two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reyes will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Bottom of the third now and set to go as the switch hitting outfielder Victor Reyes. First offering on its way. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Yeah that looked like a strike but let me tell you. When you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. And he'll step on first himself for the out. So digging in now, Harrison Bader. Harrison Bader. First pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a miss, that one tied him up. He's had some success so far, but he's going to need to continue to throw strikes early on in the zone because the more they see this guy, sooner or later they're going to figure him out. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. That's a ball. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you can rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. And very little resistance there as he's retired on a half-hearted swing, and there are two away. First pitch on its way. Now the 1 0. Grounded back up the middle. Turner loves it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Here's Starlin Castro as we begin the top of the fourth. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. 
One and O oh the count. And a strike to even the count. One and one. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Pulls this one in the air out to left. After it is O'Neill. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty. And digging into bat next, the ever dangerous Juan Soto. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Oh, that cool. The 1 0. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now that. So two are gone now in the Nationals fourth. And stepping in is the second baseman, Howie Kendrick. Here comes the first pitch. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Bader will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth, and set to go is the second baseman, Tommy Edmond. Second baseman, Tommy. Third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Swung on and missed that strike two. Good waste pitch one and two. Well that pitch was like a backdoor cutter if you will. It starts well off the plate and almost cuts back to the corner. That's a tough pitch to hit if you could throw it for a strike. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Tommy Edmond is retired leading off the bottom of the fourth. To second for Kendrick. Fielded cleanly on the first and Sanchez has got it working now. There are two away. Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. This guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. First pitch coming. Here it is. Goldschmidt swings and hits this one very well out to deep left field. And it's gone. So that brings in the power hitting middle infielder Paul DeYoung. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Ooh, wee, that was an ugly swing. I'm sure he's not going to watch that one on replay after the game. Well, that's good. good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's 1 and 2. Fastball right back to the mound. And he'll flip it onto first, and with it, that ends the inning. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. And in steps the lefty power threat, Eric Thames. Eric Thames. First pitch coming from Wainwright. And that's by him. It's 0-1. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Behind 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. DeYoung fields it cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. 
One gone for the Nationals in the fifth, and that'll bring in the catcher, Kurt Suzuki. First offering on its way. Grounder down the line at third, but this is foul for the first strike. Oh, one, here's the pitch. Most good pitchers know that they have to work inside and sometimes even come off the plate to keep hitters from getting comfortable up there. I think that was part of the intent with that last pitch. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Lifted into the air to shallow center. Here's the center fielder. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Ready for another chance as Dribble Cabrera flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Now here it comes. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. 0 and 1, here it comes. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Nationals. He got him. Lively fastball that time, and it puts an end to the inning. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and that brings up Matt Carpenter. The third baseman. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The next 0 2. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And this one is gone. A home run. Here's C.J. Krohn now. The designated hitter. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. And no swing, apparently. Ball one. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. One and two. Two runs on two hits. One error for the Cardinals to this point. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Towards second, Kendrick is there. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Victor Reyes. One run in and one gone so far at the center. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Two balls and no strikes to the Cardinals center fielder. High chopper to third. Throw gets him. Two down. And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sanchez is ready. Here's his offering. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. Fouled away. Two out, nobody on. There's a line drive, base hit to left field. The catcher number four, Yadier Molina. Yadier Molina digging in now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go to start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. One and one the count now. As a look, now the pitch. 
A ball and two strikes. One ball, two strikes. Not too many guys taking the mound today with this good a split. Look at the downward action on that thing. It's fallen off the table. Two and two to the Cardinals catcher. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Striding into the box, Victor Robles. He sent to lead us off in the sixth inning. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Trey Turner 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. Here comes the first pitch. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. The right field. Adam. Adam Eaton digging in next as the first pitch misses high and inside for ball one. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. The 1-1. One, one. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. A ball that's tarrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. Now batting, now batting Starlin Castro. He's Starling. 0 for 2 thus far in this one. First delivery oh, to him on the way. Turner's on his horse on his way to second, to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. And now back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Stepping in, Tommy Edmond. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Pops this one up. Turner backs up a bit, and he takes charge for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Tyler O'Neill. He was a ground out victim last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Nope. Up and in. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ball game for him. Now batting. So two gone baseman. now in the St. Louis oh. half of the sixth. And stepping in, the power hitting first baseman, Paul Goldschmidt. Sanchez sets his sights. Here it is. Sanchez coming up on pitch number 71 so far. This is line to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. The batter number 11. So Paul DeYoung digs in next as he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one.
way inside with that one. A pretty easy take there. Boy, this is one of those tricky spots for a pitcher, right? You have an open base, but you have a guy on deck that could do a lot of damage. Not a good spot to be in if you're a pitcher right now. Two and one to count. Trying to keep the game close. Here's the pitch. To two and two now. Into the corner and slicing foul. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Juan Soto. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Strike one to start the at-bat. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reyes is there, and he has it for the first out. In now, now Howie Kendrick. It was a fly out for Howie. him in his last trip. First pitch coming from Wainwright. Hit toward the right side. But this will be taken easily at first, and there are two gone. Striding forward now is the DH. Eric Thames, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now the pitch. Hit down the line at first, but this will get foul for strike two. Tip held on to behind the plate. Nice work there to get the punch out, and the inning is over. Digging in and looking for more, Matt Carpenter to try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. I think he's forgotten about sometimes Matt Carpenter when we talk about the best hitters in our sport. I think he's one of the more underrated offensive players. Austin Voss gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now a swing and he pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. One gone for the Redbirds in the seventh. And that'll bring up the big first baseman C.J. Crone. Here's the pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. He's got it. And quickly, there are two away. Now to the plate, Victor Reyes. A couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. Here's the first pitch to him. Softly hit toward the hole. Barehanded at his knees. He is out. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Kurt Suzuki. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Ball one to start the at bat. The 1 0 home. Grounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Pitch on the way. Skied into straightaway right. Long run for the right fielder. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. 
stepping up to the plate as Dribble Cabrera. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Here comes the first pitch. In the air to straightaway right. Bader is there to take it, and they're able to take care of Cabrera on just a single pitch. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Now that Standing in, Victor Robles. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Ball one. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. On a line, that's a base hit into left field. And this one will bounce into the wall. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Now back. Here now is Trey Turner as he takes a cold strike on the black. It's 0 and 1. He's working on a 1 for 3 thus far. Ball one. And here's a pitch high and tight one for one. a ball. 1 and 1. Two out here and a runner at second. Two and one the count to Trey Turner. The count now at two and two. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Fastball and ooh, that ran in and drilled him. In now is Adam Eaton. The right fielder, number two, Adam Eaton. Has a look, now the pitch. Ball. A ball and no strikes. Boy, the Nationals could use a big hit right here. They really haven't been able to do much all game long. This would be a great time to get something going. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Center fielder coming on. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So that will bring in Harrison Bader. He'll see what he can do leading off the home eight. The right field. First offering on its way. Bader. Fouled off. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 2. Man, that pitch had the look of a fastball. Straight changeup, and the bottom fell out of it. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Into the box now, Yadier Molina. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. I mean, Yadi, when he first broke on the scene, was a defender first and foremost. You can't say that anymore. I mean, he's evolved into a really, really nice offensive player. Throw gets him, two down. Digging in to try it again, Tommy Edmond. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Edmund. He's ready. Here's the first offering. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Eaton going back to the track. A leap, but it's off his glove. Now back, left fielder, Tyler. At the plate, Tyler O'Neill, And he is tied up on the fastball there to start things out. It's strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. And it's fouled away. Two outs here with a runner at third.
He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. And now for Washington, Starlin Castro. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Starlin Castro. Giovanni Gallegos comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth. First pitch of the at bat. Ball. Ball one, no strike. Pitch to the plate is a slider for a strike, and it's all knotted up at one and one. This offense has been underachieving all day, putting way too much pressure on their own pitching staff. Someone has to have a quality That's A.B. and get this line going. The count now at two and one. Hit back up the middle. DeYoung's got it. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Juan Soto to the plate now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. A one pitch on its way. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. Well, he's following the code not to miss down and into a lefty everything on the outer half of the plate. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. That's inside and low. It's a ball and two strikes. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The one-two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bader is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Here's Howie Kendrick. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. And he'll step off and try again. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Reyes is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Well, there's no doubt they've looked pretty inept the last five games. But they got the monkey off their back here with the win and are hoping to build on that now. A 2-0 finish today. The Redbirds took the lead in the fourth and held on until the end. Adam Wainwright is the winning pitcher of record. Anibal Sanchez pitched well, allowing only two earned, but ends up taking the loss. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious St. Louis Cardinals, two runs on five hits, one error. They left three men on base. For the National